Alright guys, so welcome back to some more Minecraft Season 2. Uh, this time we're going to be doing a whole bunch of stuff. And as you can see, we got a whole bunch of... Uh, we actually have barely anything in those chests. Well, why on earth? Wow. What the crap? Okay. Now, why the heck are those two chests basically empty? Well... Oh, it's starting night time. That's probably why. Let's go to sleep first. Man, I've been grinding off screen way too much. Should probably stop doing it, but we need the more items. So I'm doing it anyway. And so if you didn't know, uh, I've been grinding in different areas for a long time. And, uh, yeah. So I got, I got more glowstone so I can make more of these redstone lamps. And I have been... And I found out you can actually put a sign on a chest. All you do is shift click and you right click. Well shift and then right click or however you want to say it. And then you just write on it and then it just writes on the chest. It's pretty cool. Uh, so I've been getting a lot more... Ooh, wow, what the heck? I got some emeralds. I found two random blocks, and so I used my pick and I got it. Uh, what is it? It's called. There you go. Alright. So I don't have any ender pearls, but I do have a chest for them. I've not run into any endermen lately, so that's why I. That chest is basically. haven't even been. Uh, full or even worked on and then all this other stuff is pretty much self-explanatory yep but now we have a new area to explore and as you can see I do not have my OP armor so let's go and check out the new area because the new area is actually really freaking cool I spent six to seven hours working at it And it's taken a while just to freaking do it. So let's see, this is it. I believe I already showed everybody the dock has been moved. So I don't think I need to show you guys that. Uh, there's very few changes. Over here you'll see that there's another row. And this one says yay. So if you don't know where we're going to go, we're going to go to a new place I made that, well, not really made, more like converted into. So this boat's actually really freaking cool. So let's go to Yay. Where are we? Why is there glass here? Why is there stone bricks there? Where are we? Well, basically, I worked a little bit far from the house. I think, like, the house is probably, like, in that direction. But I don't really want to take a boat all the way over there again, so... I found it. Uh, I found this, and I'm like, you know what? I really like this type of area. And so I basically just put a command block here to teleport back there. Alright, so this is basically the spawning room and stuff like that. And as you can see, there's something really hidden behind the waterfall. Let's go and explore. It's pretty much dark. There's a redstone torch there, so it can't be that evil, right? What does this do? Oh, I left it on. It's supposed to be like that, but I guess I left it on. <gasps> what the heck is this? <gasps> what is it? Oh my god, it's the armor! Yeah! Also, there is a glitch whenever you have a high level of uh, respiration. Enchantment on a uh, on a weapon of some sorts, where if you, you where if you go underwater with a item that has higher respiration than the normal amount, which is like 12, uh, your screen will go white. So that's probably the reason why uh, my. Uh, Season 1 save got ruined. See? It's not going to do it, but if I would have had... Oh, frick, that I... Yeah, I went with the wrong... I went with a different genre, I think. 
Use the chanting models as like a little menu. No, I'm dead. There's not a menu. But I can go with too many items, which is the second thing I used. And go and check it out. So I can show you guys that it actually does turn white like it was in season one. And then basically this is my cool looking balcony. Like look at this area, man. It looks so beautiful. It looks quite beautiful and far, but I don't want to lag too much. And that area is pretty sweet. And it's even sweeter because now I made that area a little bit better. For me. And you have a a little guest area with the nether portal. What happened to my trap door? My trap door was missing. There's supposed to be a trap door like right there, so that though I could. Whatever. It's gone now. I'm gonna be really mad. So here's where mob drops. Oh my god, this this is ridiculous, man. Just look at all this stuff. This just this is basically me going down here. Over and over again. Oh, I should have some glass blocks here so I could like so people can see what's in there. They walk in. So basically, this is the mob grinder room. Wow. What the heck is going on here? And how is this the mob grinder room? Well I see these blocks that are randomly up. Well these are known as those are actually mob spawners. How did I get this, you ask? Well, that's why I have too many items. I basically use that just to make sure that all the... Well, I could get these spawners, and so that way though, I can make a mob spawning, uh, spawning room. Mob spawning room is that one. I'm gonna spy on some mobs. But as you can see, that chest is already filled with a whole bunch of stuff. This one isn't though, so I'll just store this. Any spiders? Yeah, yeah. Alright. This one has a. Uh... No, sorry, it's in another area. Shoot. And so, if I ever need some mob grinding, I'll have to grind over there. So, you won't see me like going to any other place, I'll just go there. This is just basically like a little lookout area. And then it just ends there. And I'm gonna go over here because this one's more so really cool than the other way. This one right here is basically the enchanting room area. So yeah, nothing really too special, but it is a very good room to stay in. Even if you're like across the hall of it, still, it's still really cool. And by the way, uh, these boots get wrecked really easily. Like, look at that. Like, what the crap is going wrong with these boots? That it has some breaking. It does, it has it at a hundred. So I don't know why the heck it's breaking really easily, but it's breaking. That's not good. And in all the other corners, like this, uh, this one has a little one over here. And this one are all like little guard quarters where they can go look and they can go, huh, hey, there's a boat over there. Let's go attack them. No, I don't. But that's basically what these areas are, and I did miss some coal, but I just wanted to get the space done and stuff like that. This area is going to be where probably most people, if they even join the series, because I want to make this into a multiplayer world, because this would actually be perfect for them. Those are guard beds, by the way. Uh, these. This is a pretty cool room. This is the alchemy room, of course. It's basically where you see all these uh, brewing stands. And all the nether warts. Seems like some of them haven't grown. But that's fine. I still got some here. And when you get down here, you might want to turn your sound down, or at least your hostile one. Uh, like your hostile down to at least like 20-ish, maybe? Reason why is because there's enemies over there. Or at least it's somewhere around this wall. I think it's like right here or somewhere. It's like right on these six blocks or something like that. That's where the mob grinding room is. And I can't really expand it back because it would also affect the farm area. Yeah. And this area, but that area doesn't really matter. At least not right now. So this basically has watermelon, wheat, and sugarcane. 
Place a little bit of sugar cane. Not really. It's not really what I would consider a sugar cane farm, but at least it does its duty of giving me a little bit at least of sugar cane. So I'm good. Can I? Oh my god, I can I can walk faster on water than on land. Cool. Well, let's see. Yeah, I'm like at triple speed. Okay. Well now that I got all this stuff, man, I need a I need a place to store all of it. Oh my god. <laughs> stuff to store it all. Uh let's see here. I did a little bit like I did a little bit more chest than the other storage area. I did a little bit more of in depth sort of approach of it. Other ingredients, there we go. Sugar cane, technically one. Uh, I have mob drops. There we go. We'll keep two on me, because I need some arrows for the bow. I wish you could enchant arrows, but you can't. I don't have any food here. Even though? No. Guess I gotta go hunting later. Or we just eat more of these watermelons. We've got about a couple more rooms actually. Yeah, this the farm area is gonna be a little annoying and So basically this is just storing all the seeds and stuff. That's after one harvest of each. And then this is what I got from the second harvest. I didn't really collect the wheat. I will be putting potatoes and carrots. Like, I was... I have to come down here again. Like, I was thinking from, like, here to that corner, I was going to go with carrots. And then here from the other corner, I was going to go with potatoes. But I just don't have enough carrots and potatoes at the moment, so... Yeah, I was going to wait on that. Uh, did I go everywhere? Pretty much everywhere. And so up here, we have the rec room area, or slash something, I don't know. I would consider this a rec room area. And so basically, I basically put like five armor stands here, Donkey Kong picture, the Kung Fu fighting thing. I was going to go put some uh, white or black blocks here, just to symbolize that it's a TV. We've got some notes, or uh, some jukeboxes. Or the ones that take music, just, I don't remember anymore. And this is basically the headmaster sort of room, so it looks really nice. And it's got, I think, five storage, uh, five ch uh, five large chests in here, so it's really cool. I believe it does. No, it's got four. Never mind. I thought I had two hiding in here, but I guess I only have one. All right. And so basically, I made it look a little lively. And if you don't know, this is actually built on a natural mountain. Um. The mountain was actually obviously shaped a little differently, like, this wasn't here, this one right here, because I had to make a staircase, this one was sort of like it, it just needed like a couple blocks here and there, and then, there you go, and I think there was another area that needed to be fixed, I don't remember where it was though, I don't know, it was somewhere, anyway, so let me go and show you guys the other areas that have a little bit to no work added to it. I had a door on the top because I really needed to get away to get back up. Alright, so let's see if I can scale this without falling off like an idiot like last time. <laughs> I almost died. As I was exploring, as you can see I was exploring a little bit just to see the area and I really like this area canvassing it out. And we got a dandelion. He can go there. So I was messing around with the uh, mob spawners, obviously, just to try and figure out what they needed. And as you can see, under here, there's some mob spawners. Uh, here to about here is all skeleton. And then this giant line that goes all the way over there is all zombie. Yeah, and I was making... I was. I was making fun of something and then obviously all these blocks that are exposed like this are uh, mobs miners. I think this one is... I don't remember which one this one was. 
It is an Enderman one, alright. It is an Enderman one. And there's a lot of cows here for some reason. I want you to leave the screen. Bye. Thank you. I need I need the meat actually. He gone. <laughs> And, uh, that's pretty much the mountain house. It had little waterfalls coming out. I had to re relocate them. Like, there was one on the top. Like, right beside the door. And I got rid of it and I put it a little bit more down. And that's basically what they formed. And that's basically the mountain house. I will have a, like, a water elevator maybe somewhere around here. To lead back to the top of it. When I figure out how they, if they work both ways, like there's a fast way of going down and up. But right now, I just like to scale it normally. I don't remember what my path was. I, I think my path was somewhere around here. I think I use the water every time. Just to give myself a little boost. Up and then I think I went somewhere else. I don't know. I scaled this thing so many times, I just can't remember which way was actually the fastest. I think this one was the fastest that I could have found. I know one of the late ways actually le led to my uh, deck. Which is really funny. Yep, this one. So I can easily get to the deck, or I can easily get to the door. I will have a water elevator one day. I may record it, but I may not. So if I don't record it, just don't be mad with me. I just didn't want to you guys to go and see me go through it and stuff like that. So yeah. That's basically the mountain house. I've spent a great deal of time doing it. But I really do like this area. Like this area I went super creative in it. I was like, okay, what could I put here? I could put a picture here. And I wanted to put a picture here. And this area just looked a little bit bare for uh for being like a little area, so I just put a picture here too. And I, f and the first one I found over here was the wither one. I was like, oh, keep that. <laughs> I don't know how rare that one is. And I have the same picture over here, which actually is like right beside the window. No, I didn't get the creeper one. I thought this one was the creeper one. Give me the creeper one. <gasps> it spawned outside, you jerk. Yeah, and this area actually has snow, so it's really cool. Where the heck is the painting? Probably not over here. It's probably like somewhere over here. There it is. Painting. Yay. That's not the right one. I want the the creeper one. Creeper. No, I want the creeper. One. Creeper. I like this one. I like that one too. I like that one too. But I want the creeper one. So the creeper one. Yeah, there you go. That's the one I want. Instead of the little tree thing, we have a creeper. Yeah, that's what I want. And then I have a little furnace here, and then... I've got a crafting table somewhere. Yeah, right here. And here's my, like, personal storage, so to speak. And this, I don't know what this was. Oh, yeah, this one was just so that I know that this one was the outside. That's what all these other blocks are. Just to indicate that it's the, uh, it's leading outside, like this one is leading outside. 
all these were looting outside. So I made it look like it was a part of the design. Except for this area, this area was random. This area, of course, didn't really have it. Except for, I think, like, these two, and then that one was all being all broken and stuff, so, yeah. And I went back to the nether, and I got a whole bunch of, well, I didn't really go back, but I found, uh, remember the blazes we killed last session? Yeah, I remember that. Uh, we got a whole bunch of blaze rods, and so I ended up making a whole bunch of these. So that's how I got those. And, uh, yeah. I still don't know how to make redstone lamps, like, at the, like, at the ready. So I always have to keep on looking back at the wiki. But just so you guys know how to make it, I need to head back home. I think. Let's do it the nether portal way, because I found a really weird... Like, it worked for me for, like, a short time just to find my house again. But I thought they fixed it, so I was like, but apparently, well, I'll just show you guys. Need to head back. I need to go and find some ghost town. Oh, shit. I meant to get rid of one of these. Where's the Hershey's monster? Where's the Hershey monster? Okay, fine. Where's the Lewis Dunlap? There's some. I need a... Yeah, okay. Okay. Alright, I don't have enough. There we go, uh, there we go. Three two nine right on hand. to make a block? Yeah, I do. Stop it with your damn Hershey's. Where are they? Nope. Went to way too under. Way too under again. Maybe if I get closer, I can see it. Let's close to 